Hi guys, it's me, Lego Master 3261, and I'm here with update 37. Um, now there are quite a few things I'd want to talk about in this update, so sorry if it's a bit long, but I do have a few things to discuss. Uh, well, the first thing is, as you can see, the minifig mock has gone, and I've began work on a Star Wars mock. Um, I haven't really done much yet, I've just kind of created this like river type thing. There will be um, water, I'll be using them trans studs there. And they will be flowing uh, in that gap, but... Um, this will be based on, I think, Na Naboo. Um, and there won't be a base, that's why it's quite small. It will just kind of be, um, like, there will still be a battle, but there won't be a base, basically. I thought I'd have a good building one without a base again. Um, which is also why I wanted to do the river thing because, of course, it, that's taken up just about all of my dark bluish grey slopes. Um, so I can't really make a base if I wanted to anyway. And of course, I've had to use a lot of these um, two by fours and stuff to uh, elevate the whole mock because I actually want to have it like higher than base plate level because most of mine tend to be just maybe at maximum like one brick high and that's when it's been layered but this time I actually want to elevate the whole thing so it's like this high so the floor is actually up here rather than being in level with the base plate so that would be kind of cool but uh, yeah that this is just a quick overview of the whole thing not as much to show I've just kind of built this little island here um, and then this kind of um, patch here it will be kind of similar to the island they'll be like um, brown like pieces going along all the way down here and then the rest will kind of be green with trees and um, vegetation and stuff like that so I think it'll be pretty good and I don't know when it'll be finished um, I can't really give a date yet but I hope I finish it pretty quickly but then again I don't want to rush because I want to make I want to make it look pretty good um, but yeah so that's it I'll put the camera down because so I've showed you. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, series 1 to 11 minifig battle scene. Now, I know a lot, a lot of you liked it, and for those of you who don't know, the Easter egg has been found. And it was found by Brick Spartanate. Shout out to him. Um, I'll put a, a uh, link to his channel in the description below so you can go and check him out. He does make some pretty good videos. Um, I know he's, he's, he likes doing animations, and he has done a few um, minifig opening videos as well. So yeah, you should definitely go check out his channel and watch his videos. Because, well, he was the first to find the easter egg in the battle scene, which was in fact, spoiler, the uh, it was an Indiana Jones figure. It was this guy here. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, but yeah, it was this guy here. And he was hiding behind the big tree that I had going on with the two skaters on top. So if you haven't found it and you now want to find him, um, just look behind the tree and you'll see him pretty easily. Um, but don't bother commenting because it's already been seen. Um, but that kind of raised an awareness for me because I realised that what's happening is those that are finding the easter egg are commenting, which is good, it's good, it's what I've asked you to do, but then it kind of spoils it for others because like they want to find it and then they'll see the comments and it's already been posted so their chance is kind of gone. So my idea for the series 1 to 12 um, battle scene is that I'll kind of do it so say I upload the video on a Saturday, um, everyone will be able to watch it, find the easter egg but won't be allowed to comment until the following Saturday, so everyone gets seven days to find it. And like, if anyone comments that they found it uh, before seven days have passed, then obviously I'll just have to hide the comment and tell them it doesn't count. And then after seven days, everyone will be allowed to comment on um, what they think the Easter egg is, where it is, who it is, what it is, stuff like that. Because I just think it gives more people a chance to find it um, rather than the same people over and over again. So I think that's a pretty good idea. And they'll definitely try and use that. And then another thing I wanted to discuss about the series 1 to 12 uh, scene is that I've actually decided that I might change it a bit. Um, because if you've watched my very, very, very first 
uh, minifig battle scene in series one to four. Um, it, they were actually in teams. Like in normally it's just free for all. I just have anyone fighting anyone. But for that one and that one only, it was series one and two versus series three and four. Because well, since then I've done it free for all, but that was the only time I did teams. So I was kind of wondering um, whether I should do teams again. I think it'd be a pretty good idea. Although I'm not too sure what the teams could be. I've got a few ideas. Like I guess you could do series one to six versus series seven to twelve, or you could do like I don't know, males versus females, um, stuff like that. So if you want to um, give me your idea in the comment below, in the comments below, so I know whether to do still keep with the free for all thing or go with the teams idea. So I do think the teams is pretty good, and it it just kind of change it. Um, and if enough people say they want teams, then I'll make a separate video um, later on about that, saying like I'll give like options for different types of teams, and then people can vote for which um, two teams they want. And yeah, I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Um, so that video, if enough people vote for teams, and the video. Um, where you get to pick what teams you want should be, um, I don't know, probably in a few days. I don't want to upload it too quickly after this because, of course, I need people, I need to, I need to give people time to, um, to vote and what to, to watch this video and then choose what they want. Um, but yeah, I think that's just about everything. Um, so yeah, once again, link to Brick Spartan 8's channel will be in the description below. So definitely check him out. And of course if you want a shout out then all you've got to do is find the Easter egg in the next battle scene. And I will give you a shout out. A shout out. Uh, and that is all. Uh, I've said everything I think. Yep. Yes I have. So once again uh, tell me in the comments below whether you want teams or not for the series 1 to 12 battle scene. And if enough people want teams I'll upload a video later on where you get to vote what type of team you want. Like I said, it could be males versus females, um, series 1 to 6 versus series 7 to 12. Um, well, I'll think of more. There'll be more options, but I'll just think of them. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, like if you want, comment on the Teams thing, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.